and we are on air. Hi guys, my name is Brianna and today I'm going to be showing you guys my perfume collection. So let's get right into the video. So I've done this video once before a few years ago and I thought that I would do an update since I've gotten a bunch of new perfumes since then and run out of a few and I thought it would be fun to just go over what perfumes I have. So let's get into it. I thought we should start with the ones that I still have from last time so you guys could see which ones I ended up not really using that much. So for full-size bottles, there's only two that I ended up not really using that much. And the first is this Imagination Disney one. I think you guys will be able to see if I line them up here, but you know what? I'm gonna move this table back a bit so you can see better. So I think when I showed you guys this one, it was maybe up to here and now it's down to here. I got this one at the same time as a different Disney one I got and I used that one a lot and I don't have it anymore, but this one, not so much. It kind of just, like it has a smell, but it doesn't really smell like perfume if that makes sense. It doesn't tell me a scent. I imagine the box said what was in it and I don't have that anymore. So I couldn't even really tell you. Maybe it smells like plants kind of, but not in like a flowery perfume way. I honestly have no idea how to describe it, but it's not bad smelling. I just, I never use it. Second one that I still have from the last video is this one. It's Live Colorfully by Kate Spade. This smells like what I think of when I think of perfume. That's just not my vibe, but I was gifted this one, so I wear it when like I want to smell fancy or professional or extra girly. If you must know what my favorite perfume and signature scent is, I guess, it would be Wonderland by Taylor Swift, but I ran out of it, so I'll have to get more eventually. Then the only thing left from the last time I did this video is this collection of smaller bottles. I almost never wear these. I keep them around mostly for if I'm gonna be traveling or anything and I want to take perfume with me because they're cute little small bottles easy to travel with but I prefer spray perfumes so I'm never gonna reach for those. It's just for when I travel or anything like that. But now we can get into all the newer ones that I have. So speaking of of Taylor Swift. This is another Taylor Swift perfume that I got for Christmas last year, I think. I'm forgetting the name of it, but it smells more like classic perfume, which is why I think I don't love this one as much as I love the other Taylor Swift perfume, because that one is more sweet. I'm really bad at describing perfumes, but I really like a sweet fruity almost smell as opposed to like flowery smells. And then this one was also gifted to me last Christmas. It's very seductive, so very sexy. One of my friends slash co-workers from Taco Bell gave me this one. This one smells really good. It smells really sweet to me. I don't know why I haven't used this one very much. I think it's because when I first got it, I still had my other Taylor Swift perfume that I preferred. So I always reached for that one and then I haven't picked it back up. I don't know. Then I actually have a cologne. I honestly, I don't even know why I have a cologne. It smells really good, but I rarely wear it. It's lime, basil, and mandarin. It smells really good, but it is like not anywhere close to the smells of anything else I wear. So I genuinely have no idea why I have it. Then the next ones are also not technically perfumes. They're fragrance mists, but the truth of the matter is these are what I've been reaching for the most lately. My go-to right now is this one. It's Into the Night from Bath and Body Works. It says on the bottle, fragrance notes, raspberry noir, amber crystals, velvety rose petals, creamy patchouli, and mocha musk. But I like this one a lot because it's not too strong and I love a sweet but light scent that I can just spray a lot of all over my body when sometimes just two sprays on the front of you with a perfume is so strong and then you're like, oh, I didn't want it to be so strong but I wanted the scent spread out, if that makes sense. I don't know. Then my like next go-to would be this one, this winter candy apple. It doesn't smell like winter. I mean, it just smells like apple to me. 
me. Like sweet apple. Uh, I have no idea why it's specifically for winter, but I like it all the time. It's so good. And it's, again, it's that sweet fruity smell that I like. And then I have cherry blossom. It's cherry blossom, cedar wood, and pear. So this one is like a mix of floral, woodsy, and pear fruity. Not my favorite scent, but every now and then I do reach for it. Uh, I do think it's a weird combination now that I'm really thinking about it. I've never thought about it too much, but hmm. Then we have this bag, which I like to call my on-the-go perfumes. Again, similar to these, I would more so use this for a travel, or not even if I'm traveling, but if I know I'm not stopping home and I'm going to be out all day and I want to reapply perfume. These two are my favorite because they have a spray top on them. They're both this brand Clean Reserve. One is Rain and one is Solar Bloom, but these are perfect for if I'm not going to be home and I'm going to want some perfume. The rest of these I honestly barely ever use, but I still keep them. I don't know really why. I think some of them are spray tops and some are not. Like these are roll-on ones. I guess they're good for like on the wrist and stuff, but I like perfumes to encompass me, if that makes sense. This one's called Sexy Twist. The truth is, I don't even know where I got half of these. This one has a spray top and it's Jazz Club. Reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods. I don't think I've ever read the bottles on these. That's so interesting. I don't think I've ever smelled this one. It's supposed to smell like Jazz Club? I don't know what it smells like. I'm so confused. Another roll-on one called Impassioned. This one's also roll-on. Ecstasia, I think is how you say it. Another roll-on one called Amour. And this last roll-on one is called Love Angels. Then this would be all my sprays and perfumes and all of that, but I also have certain smells that I'm so obsessed with that I don't really care if I smell like it, but I want to smell it all the time. And that's where I kind of use essential oils as perfume sometimes. Haven't tried wearing all of them as perfume, but I am obsessed with this lemon lime one. I put it on my wrists all the time just so when I'm out and about and I want to smell lemon, I could just on my wrist. So good. I want to learn how to turn these into actual perfumes, but I'll get there eventually. After lemon lime, I also have orange and grapefruit, ginger and peppermint, lavender and sage, rose, and jasmine and sandalwood. So these would be all the scents you're ever gonna catch me wearing. If you ever wanted to smell like me, I think this is your best bet, but I do wear all of these on occasion. But yeah, I just thought this would be interesting and you guys can comment down below what kind of scents you like to wear and what your favorite perfume is. But for now, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Happy Vito, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mwah.